Welcome to another combination log video. Recently I sent some of my combination logs to other people for them to have fun and so I had to order new ones. And when I ordered them, the website suggested also this log for me to buy and I uh, know this kind of log. Um, I had one of these before but I cut it open and uh, couldn't get it back together. So it was a good opportunity for me to get one of these again for my collection. Um, of course I want to show you a decoding of this and these are not bad actually. These are kind of a uh, generic uh, combination locks made in China I believe. No markings on it but as I said they aren't bad. Currently 000 is set as a code and to change the code you have to turn the shackle here to this side, 90 degree, you push it down, turn it and it stays where it is in the change mode. That's pretty cool. Um, yeah, I changed the code. Just make sure to have every wheel in a, in a, posi at a position at a whole number, not in between. I think we're done. Turn the shackle back, close the lock and shuffle the wheels. Alright, we are ready to start with the decoding. It has four skates, Oops, which is really nice. So let's see. I pull in the shackle and test the wheels. That's not binding, not binding, not binding. That's binding a lot. And we have a gate at 9, we have a gate at 2, we have a gate at 4 and gate at 7 and again at 9. So let's try with 9. The next wheel is binding a little bit and maybe here at 4 it wants to stay. Not really um, uh, giving a lot of feedback but I think 4 is a gate. So next one also not binding much but I think 9 is quite good. 9 or 8 actually. Let's stay at 9 and here 5 might be a good number. It's hard to turn left and right away from this position so it's having a lot of play but then it stops. So I think we are in a gate at every wheel. Let's test the wheel um, for, for play. So this is really stiff and these are not binding a lot or are in the true gate, we don't know yet, but I think 9 is not correct. So I set it to a new number. 2 is tight as well. 4 is tight. And 7 is a um, little bit less tight. Um, when you pull on the shackle really hard, it's getting tighter, but you can still move it left and right. So that's a very good indication for having this wheel in a true gate. So let's continue. Now the second wheel is pretty tight. Okay, again 7. That's... oh. So I think 9 is actually a true gate. It's having a lot of play left and right. So maybe we are only left with the last wheel and we're good to go. Really cool. So that was the decoding of a generic four-wheel combination padlock, most probably made in China. A lot of fun but not very difficult. And some of the other locks, some of the other combination locks have um, other measures to make it harder to decode. For example, the wheels are closer together and less accessible. So this is really nicely accessible. You can see how much this sticks out and also there's a lot of space in between. So when you're working on one wheel, you're not likely to change the position of other wheels. And this lock, well, has not used these security features. But on the other hand, it's a really nice beginner's lock to learn how to decode a lock with false gates. Alright, so that's it. Thanks for watching. Happy picking and decoding. And until we meet again, bye bye.